All right, parents, listen up to this one. There is a new internet challenge that's daring children to do a very dangerous thing, including attempting suicide. Yeah, this is very serious stuff. Diane Lee takes a closer look at everything you need to know to keep your kids safe. We do want to warn you, this story does contain some very disturbing video. Whether you find this simply disturbing or downright scary, in the morning you will be dead. most would agree it's not something a child should be watching. It's really sad to me just to think that that kind of evil in the world exists. Abby Warren, a Greenville mom of five, says her three year old told her today that he recognizes this scary image known as Momo from watching YouTube kids. This, in a family with strict rules about no devices upstairs, private settings online, and no phones, period. This is what the kids are seeing. And once they see it, the biggest thing is kids are getting freaked out about it. Rick Floyd, a cyber safety expert with Greenville County Schools, warned parents today about the dangers of what's being called the Momo Challenge, which at best scares kids and at worst. It's a suicide challenge. Instructs them to do things that could injure themselves or others. I think this is one of the um, scariest ones I've seen in a while because it's affecting the younger kids. You know, a lot of the apps are for older kids or they have to do stuff to get on the apps, but this is kind of popping up on, on YouTube. By many accounts, part of the Momo threat is a warning not to bring it up to anyone, especially parents, or you could be kidnapped, which is why a child may never tell you. It's very scary to be a parent in today's world and just you can have all the safeguards, all the firewalls, all the um, protections in place, but if you don't have that open dialogue with your kids, I feel like it's kind of all for nothing. All right, well, YouTube, they did release a statement saying it hasn't seen any videos of the Momo Challenge on its site. Many reports say kids are actually finding it through chat apps like WhatsApp, as well as games like Fortnite.